He's giving you $1,500 a month. Is he faithful in giving you that money? Yes, he is. What do you do with that money? I was in another car accident, which I've been paying medical bills, paying rent to my parents, paying off other bills that he left me with. Did he have some of those bills? Yes. So he was left with some bills and you were left with some bills? Yes. I didn't leave her with any bills. I'm stuck right now with $25,000. You have all your bills. Mm -hmm. I'm stuck right now with about $25,000 in bills. The utility bills that they're talking about are uh, bills that, well, after I had left the house, she had utility bills on the house that, that is my house. She was living in the house still for a few months after we, we separated. Is that right? Until he kicked her out, yes. Yes. Is that right? You were living I there. had our son. He had, didn't come up to see the son at all for about two I, weeks, I didn't so I was watching with the our son. Ex-wife. That's why I didn't bother to go up there. Mm hmm Well, what I don't understand is he is faithfully paying the amount that the, he was ordered to pay. Clearly, he's got a substantial nut that he has to repay, which is not particularly terrible. I mean, you can understand why they're angry. I mean, if you left, yes. if you left her daughter for somebody else. That's not exactly what happened. She's, she also has had boyfriends since, she's had quite a few boyfriends since, since we've separated. Uh, we're not talking about since you separated, David. This we're talking about before. I assume that what... The girlfriend the, that they're referring to was, was since we've been separated. Your best friend's wife. Since you separated. Yes. Okay. That make you angry? His best friend's wife? Yes. Ex-wife. Well... Wife. But that was since you've been separated? No. You say it was before? He left for her. How do you know that? Because they went to Palm Springs five days later. Five days, David? That they isn't even a reasonable home. morning period, David. <laughs> you know what I mean? There was no more. I wanted to leave. That's, that's why there was no morning. OK. Look, this loan of $460 was extended to both your daughter and your son-in-law at a time that they were together seems unreasonable for you to want him to pay that entire loan. They both had benefit of the vehicles that they bought. Not on the truck. He never allowed her to drive the truck other than to take it in for the repairs. He was very, she wasn't even allowed to drive it out of the driveway half the time. Did you ever drive the truck? Very rarely. Did you ever drive the truck? Around the block. You drove the truck. So the answer is yes, you drove the truck. Yes. But the Ford Explorer was paid off his truck was not. Doesn't make any difference. The loan was extended, Scunieri, to both your children. And it seems unreasonable. And you acknowledge that this was a debt that was incurred to them. It was a joint debt, correct? I am not even sure that they, they paid for this. I haven't, the only thing I've seen is receipts for the work that was done, and they were signed, they were all signed by my, my ex-wife. Did you have those receipts? Yes, and they were on my visa bill. Well, you knew that the work was done on the car, David. Yes, I did. All right. Things aren't always exactly equal when people split up, irrespective of whose fault it is. Somebody always gets a little bit more in debt, and somebody always winds up a little bit better off financially. I have a sense, my sense, that uh, you're angry with him because your daughter is unhappy. She has a child that she's going to be taking care of for a long time. I have the child almost 50% of the time right now. Do you? Yes. I'm very pleased to hear that. That's really very good for a child to spend substantial time with both parents. So that's a very good thing. Uh, so I think that this was a joint debt. And I think that each of you have a responsibility to repay your mother, your soon-to-be former mother-in-law, for half of the amounts that she's requesting. She should not be out that money. You both acknowledge that these repairs were made. So the judgment in this case is for the plaintiff in the amount of uh, $232. I've rounded it off to the closest dollar. Okay. Okay? Thank, Thank you. you. Excuse me. Step out.